Hi, my name is Devin Kerr and I'm here with a very lovely Azabakar who plays the role of Sarah Isabira. So tell us a bit about yourself and the role that you play. Thank you, Devin. It's very nice to meet you. Um, yes, my name is Alza. I play the role Sarah in Subira. I'm actually Egyptian originally. I've lived here for the last 27 years. Mm -hmm. Since 1991, I am a mother of three and I'm an accountant by profession. This is not what I might do. I do for a, a day job. You know? Yeah, so because I, I understand this is your first time acting. Absolutely. So Absolutely. how was the whole process for you? Like for the rehearsals before the shoot, for the workshops held? How was it? How was the whole process for you? Well, actually, I, I got asked to do this as a small favor, mm -hmm. a small, tiny role, you know, just a few lines, mm -hmm. sitting in the coffee shop, mm -hmm. and um, I was not meant to do Sarah. Mm -hmm. um, and by chance, while we were doing the um, rehearsals, mm -hmm. I was helping out the person who was doing Sarah, actually, another wow. actress. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of coaching and telling her, do it like this, do it like that. So um, Sahiba turned around and said to the director, Sipi, mm -hmm. she said, why isn't us doing this she's the right person to do this she's mm -hmm. got the diva effect you know and that's how i ended up getting the role mm -hmm. uh, i still had to go for auditions yeah <laughs> how was the whole process it, you mind. have to learn your lines by mm -hmm. heart you have to go through the whole thing mm -hmm. um, and repeat and um re you know regurgitate the lines again yeah it was um really interesting you know it was wonderful you know i'm just trying to understand how do you relate with the characters are well, for me, Sarah basically um, very, very much relates to who I really am. She's the socialite, she wants to go out, she wants to have coffees, she wants to go to the gym, she wants to go to fashion shows, yeah. you know, she loves her jewellery. Um, and I could relate to her completely. The mm -hmm. fact that she can't be who she wants to be or who she really is mm -hmm. and is restricted by culture and by um, being married and she has to ask permission, she she has to lie about where she is when yeah. she's not right, mm -hmm. you know, um, and she shouldn't have to do that, she shouldn't yeah. be who she is. Mm -hmm. I had to go through the same thing, why are you going for yoga, why are you doing your hair, yeah. why are you dressed like this, mm -hmm. you know, um, you need to dress more formally or whatever it is. Yeah. So the constraints that Sarah had to go through mm -hmm. and her character had to be like that because of those religious constraints and actually Sarah throughout is wearing a boy boy so you will yes. hardly see me till the end of the film. Oh, wow. um, mm -hmm. But it's very interesting the struggle of um, still 21st century Muslim women. Yeah. So what do you think is the core message that's, be that's being brought up in the film? For me it's empowering women, it's feminism, it's saying allow us to be who we are yeah. um, and, and it doesn't only apply to girls really, it's mm -hmm. across the board but Subira's struggle mm -hmm. just to learn how to swim, yeah. you know, why can't she do that, why does she have to learn about it, why, does she, why can't she wear a bikini and be who she really is yeah. and that for me, I resonated with me personally because my mom was my Subira. She was supposed to be an actress herself. Mm -hmm. um, she was a beautiful singer. She was um, in a concert with her. And she was pulled out by my grandfather okay. to get her married off because they thought it was inappropriate. It was not a good career to be in. In those days, it was taboo. Yeah. You can't be who you really are. Mm -hmm. um, so he was worried that she would, you know, get into the acting career like his cousin, yeah. who was a famous actress actually, mm -hmm. in Egypt. And maybe this was my little bit of giving back to my mom being, um, you know, in the cinema uh, and having a small role and living her dream that she couldn't live because of cultural restrictions and religious restrictions. Yeah. So that's really amazing. Um, so what do you think, like, why do you think the audience should come and watch this film? What's unique about this film? The very unique thing about Subira actually um, and again, I resonate a lot with that, is that it is a movie that is across the board. It's not just about Subira only the yeah. character mm -hmm. and about Muslim girls and their struggle. Um, it's about our Kenyan culture across the board. We're looking at Nice Bahiji, who plays the mother. Mm -hmm. The role of the mother is amazing. She represents every Kenyan single mom. Yeah. Guys, I mean, I'm a single mom for the last five years and I, I had, when I moved out into my apartment, there was the first person to move into this apartment block. There was two of them. And one apartment, full apartment block, was only single mom. Oh, wow. Only single mom. Wow. What does that tell you? Yeah. We all know, we have friends, sisters, 
family, they're all single moms. Yeah? It's very much about how you have to look after your child, mm -hmm. about the struggles they go through. It really, really resonates with a lot of us. Plus the shushu. Yeah. I mean, really, the grandmother figure is amazing. Yeah. Um, which one of our Kenyan families doesn't have that shushu figure that you run to, we that's your do. comfort zone, the amazing do. food, you know, that's where you get all the love and attention because mom's busy working or yeah. you're sent up country every holiday or whatever it is. It's representing our Kenyan culture, our Kenyan yeah. local, yeah, what yeah. we go through. On top of it, we have a big broadband of Asian community here. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. covering even that. Mm -hmm. You know, the husband, how he is struggling with the father and the control, whether it's a mother-in-law, father-in-law, the Indian families, the struggles the children go through to be independent. They are not independent. Yeah, They're yeah. struggling themselves to be who they really are mm -hmm. and who they deserve to be. Mm -hmm. And now in this, it tells, tells you that well, he needs to get his own house and, and move on and, and look after his family. Yeah and maybe not allow the family to interfere into the marriage. So there is so much that we have messages in them. It's covering a broad spectrum of our society today. So it's a Kenyan movie for all of us. Yeah. So, oh wow, thank you so much for being here with me today, Anubaka. It's amazing, I totally, completely feel inspired. But just before we finish, um, what would you like to tell our audience just before we finish up? Um, I'd like to tell you all to make sure you go to the premiere if possible. It's on the 29th. It's at Westgate. Um, 29th of November here in Nairobi. And it will be showing hopefully in other screens and will continue. But it's also showing on the 7th of December in Mombasa. So yeah. if you're there, make sure you watch it. I'll be there. Um, do come along. You will love the movie. It is amazing. It's a story about all of us. Yeah and do wear your high heels and dress up your shoes, take out your taxes, uh, look your best and come to the premiere. Amazing, thank you so much for being here. You're most welcome, it was lovely.